Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your great support to this channel. The Daily Nation is here with us. And let me just read whatever is trending on this Daily Nation as I am displaying the picture. Why they had to fail? That is number one. Then down there we are having star. I listen to you. Cabinet is fired, Ruto. Then the standard. People's power. Then the present picture is drawn in the, on the standard. Then good radiance. Taifa Leo, Afagia, Wote. So those are the news trending and those are the things we want to discuss at this point. But let me just begin by clarifying that you might be happy or now Ruto have fired the cabinet. Believe me or not, when Ruto might get the second chance in the office, that is comes 2027, Ruto might again re-elect this cabinet he have fired. And politics is always that game. So you must think that the, when the deal is so good, think twice. I said on our uh, the other analysis that Ruto have not fired this cabinet in the back of his mind. Due to pressure, he wants to secure his vote for 2027 to rescue his second seat in the office. And that is the game he have done. Remember this man is a cunning man. He knows whatever he's doing. So I saw several Kenyans celebrating. The deal is not yet done. Max my word. Let's proceed. The reason why Rigadi Gashagwa escaped and Msalia Mdavadi. But I don't want to dwell on Rigadi Gashagwa. I want us to dig deep on Msalia Mdavadi. Why do you think Ruto decided to leave Msalia Mdavadi? Yet he was the prime cabinet secretary of all the cabinets in Uda's government. Let me just read it. Whatever Ruto is saying. I am, I am to blame because I trusted the wrong people. Remember, that is how Ruto is describing his people. There has been a major problem in our communicate with our people, in our communication with our people, sorry. And this allowed critics to spread the wrong propaganda and misinformation, Ruto said. That is whatever the president is now saying. Furthermore, we have, we have carried on by revealing why he left Musalem Dabadi. Mdavadi has been seen as the voice of reason in the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance administration and has been tipped to replace Gashagwa in the 2027 general election. So you see, Mdavadi is ready to replace the Gadi Gashagwa for 2027 general election. That is why I'm saying that in the world of politics, you must know how to play your cards. I, you can't believe, even me, I can't believe that Ruto can fire someone like uh, Kithure Kindiki. Never on earth. I don't believe up to now. That Ruto can fire someone like Aden Dwali. Never on earth. It is not possible as you think. Someone like Moses Kuria. They are the close associate friend to the president. Till death. Apart then. People like Murkome. It's just, they're just wasting of time. But they know whatever they're doing. They know whatever they're doing. I can't believe, and I will never believe on this cabinet uh, uh, fires who have been fired in Ruto's government. And if Ruto will get the second chance in the office, that is 2027, calculate this move. Let me say he can decide to put the PS to work for him. Maybe people like uh, Raymond Omolo in the, in, the, in the interior sector, for instance. I'm just trying to give example, I'm not saying so. Just for a period of two years. Then he will come back to, for, uh, uh, for Kenyans to tell them during campaigns, Simona, Simona, I listen to you guys. Now vote me. 
And that is the game they are trying to play. These people should go home, all of them. Because Samaki bado narudia. Samaki inaanza kuwaza na kichwa. Ndiyo inarudi kwa mkia. So, kama kichwa ya Samaki imeoza, ujue ya kwamba mkia pia imeoza. So, you can't throw the, 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 the tail of a fish then leaving the head. Impossible in this world. That is whatever Ruth have done. He have chopped the tail and leave the head. And the head is the dangerous poison. And Kenyans, you must be serious and learn this from a fig tree. So that is why today Taifa Leo is exposing and telling you whatever is happening. Problem with us is that we wait and see. That is the problem with us. And we learn a lot and we know a lot we can't be rectified. Uru Kenyatta warned us. Uru Kenyatta warned you earlier. And he acted as a prophet. But you didn't listen to him. And this is whatever again I'm repeating. I'm seeing several happiness in social media. You must be happy. But you must ask yourself. What have they done in the years they have, done, they have been in the office? And why have we made that emergency changes? It is all about politics. Even opposition is having interest to place its people in, in the government. And wherever you see Raelo Dinga, is also having interest to have his own people to work in the government. Just for the period they are having together with President Ruto. And that is also what we call politics. So you've seen also Salam Davadi is have been left to replace Rigadi Gashagwa. Surprisingly, there is someone who is going to come in 2027 to even and to be endorsed in the UDA government to replace Salam Davadi in 2027. Because Ruta have known the potential of Salam Davadi in politics. But due to experience, uh, experience Musalem Navadi is having in politics. Remember, he have worked for the late uh, Jomo Kenyatta, maybe. He have worked for the uh, late Mwaiki Baki, I know that. He have worked for uh, Uru Kenyatta, so on and so on. Now, he, he have even acted and worked in different government administration, which is good because he has experience compared to Rigadi Gashabu. But they, are, they, 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 they look alike. They resemble the same docket. So, when Ruto decided to fire his cabinet, it is just he absconded their political duties. But he have not fired them. He have not fired his cabinet. And take this to the nearest bank. That is why even Tefaleo is questioning. Tefaleo is questioning and asking them, that because of people's power and people always vote, he have decided to do so. Wafunga macho tu, lakini, badu mambo inachemuka. So let's learn this from a fig tree, ladies and gentlemen. Because I have even displayed that. You see, whatever Ruth is saying, that I listen to you. <laughs> Cabinet is fired. That is Ruto. I listen, I listen. To you, so it means he did it because you say. Hakini ye kwaro yake, ha. Ye apate benefit. Kama wengi ne bado wana, relax. That is what I can say, ladies and gentlemen. Let us not have early celebration in this life. Things always change. Things always change. I rest my case at this point.